What up, peeps? So first of all, I want to wish you all a very happy new year. I hope that you're able to stay focused and pay attention to your goals and your ambitions throughout the entire year. And I wanted to share a dream with you that I had today. I'm going to tell you three things. The first thing I'm going to tell you is about the dream. And in this dream, it references a person who used to make YouTube videos and they're currently not making YouTube videos. In fact, I'm not really sure what he's doing right now, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to call him John. Second thing, I'm going to get a little personal with you and tell you some vulnerable parts about my life that I don't always share. The third thing is I'm going to tell you how I analyzed this dream and what it all means, which I thought was so interesting and that's why I decided I wanted to share it with you. Any chance I get to motivate you and help you, I always want to. So here we go. Here's my dream. Really quick insert to this video. I wanted to let you know that the merch store is closing this week. So if you want, there's a discount code in the description and you can get a discount on your entire order. Thank you guys for all your support and continue with the video. And when I tell you this dream, please try and visualize it. I know you're not gonna visualize it exactly like I did in my dream, but try to pay attention to the things that I say so that when I get further into the story and I tell you about other things, you're gonna be able to really understand. So, visualize this. So I was on a path and I was with probably like three or four people that I knew and we were kind of scattered on the path a little bit going our own way and there was this one particular guy, John, who was lost from the group. We didn't know where he was, we were trying to find John. We also were trying to find where we were supposed to be. We couldn't find him. So anyway, I ended up going into some unfamiliar house and I went all the way upstairs and I saw John and he literally, he jumped out the window. And I don't know why he did that, but it wasn't a bad thing. He wasn't committing suicide. He wanted to jump out this window. He kind of like just vanished. I think he might've ran away or he was gone. I'm not sure what happened to John. So I went downstairs to look for him and I was outside at this point. He was nowhere to be found. I was about to cross the street and there was traffic coming and I saw this cat, a street gray cat was outside and it was like picking up this little baby kitten, like a tiny baby kitten. It was picking up the kitten to put it on the curb. I went across the street real quick and I was going to help it, but it seemed fine, like the cat was fine, so I didn't have to do anything with it. So I went back inside the house. In this very small room, I was by myself sitting on a chair, and then J-Lo walks in. And I could tell by our interaction that we had already known each other by the way we were talking. She comes in and she sits down and she was in front of the mirror, and I was sitting behind her, so we were kind of talking through the mirror. She was just like doing her hair a little bit, like messing with her hair, and she left and came back. And what she brought back into the room with her was was pieces of her vision board. It was really pretty. It was like these kind of like cardboard papers, not even papers. It was like thick board. It was glammed up, like sparkly and stuff. It was really cool. So we had like a small conversation about it and she said that she wasn't gonna put it all onto one board. It didn't matter. Like that wasn't the important thing was that it was all in one place. That was just like a point that she said. And then we just started talking about hair for a little bit and, and uh, we talked about hair and hair extensions. And then I must have woke up. So that's the end of the dream. I know it's like, it's not a crazy dream. It's a little strange. Like what the hell does, what's the point of this dream? I didn't know, but I thought about it. Let's get into I'm gonna now tell you about, it's all gonna tie together when I get to the third part of this story. So here's the second part of the video where I'm gonna tell you about my personal feelings and thoughts that I've been having lately, and even some of them have been for a while. <sighs> Here we go. Generally, I kind of have been feeling at a standstill in life. Like, I feel like I haven't progressed much in the last couple years, and I really want to, like I want to do more. I've been feeling very stuck. Like I don't know how to get where I wanna go, but I also feel that I'm ready to do something. I feel like I want some guidance kind of. I needed some kind of resources to get me to where I want to go next. In the last couple months, I've kind of been neglecting my personal health. I haven't been eating as healthy. I haven't been working out as much. I don't like doing that. So I know that that's something that I want to focus on and do more often. The other thing that has significance to this, and most of you already know this about me, but as far as like actors and famous people go, I'm not the kind of type of person that's ever, ever been a fangirl. I'm not a fangirl. I, I don't like overly obsess over famous people. And when I like somebody who's famous, it's because I genuinely like them and what they stand for. You'll see the significance later, like, which is interesting. Specifically with JLo, she is somebody who I always have admired for a long time. I feel like her and I have very similar qualities in life. Like she's very loving and kind and caring about people and so am I. And she's respectful of others. And I don't know, it's just like something about her personality that I, 
I feel like we relate. But there's also other things about her that are very admirable. She's very hardworking and I know that I want to be more hardworking. So she's somebody that I would look to for like inspiration sometimes. One of the other things is that I feel as far as YouTube goes, sometimes I question how much longer do I want to do this? Because I know that there's other things that I want to do and I haven't really touched on those things. Part of that feeling can come from how many views I may get or how many people are engaging with my videos. And obviously like anytime somebody comments or likes a video that helps me feel like you guys are really enjoying this stuff. And I know that you do. It's just the way the algorithm is with YouTube. I can't control that. If I could, I would make sure that all of you are getting my video, but because the way the algorithm is, it just doesn't work like that. It makes me think a lot about my success in life. Am I still successful or can I be successful? It's a strange feeling that I have. The reason I wanted to tell you guys all about this is because I feel like some of these things are relatable. I know people, no matter how old you are, you can be fine in life and everything seems like you're on the right path, but then your life can change completely. I wanted to talk about this because I thought it could really help you guys too. I guess I'll just move on. For the third part of the video, I'm gonna tell you how I analyzed the dream and what it all means. It's so crazy what I learned. That's why I wanna share it with you. So me not being a dream expert, and never caring about that stuff. It can relate to so many of you if you just pay attention. So I actually bought this for my friend. It's something that can help you analyze your dreams. This thing has a bunch of cards and it tells you what specific things mean that you run into in your dreams. It was saying that because I was on this path and I was lost in direction, we didn't know exactly where we were going and we lost our friend. It's like interpreting in real life that I do feel lost, which is true. Like I mentioned to you, I kind of feel a little bit lost. I could be feeling confused and directionless, but because because I was walking, it's a symbol of new discoveries as I move forward in life. Any of the obstacles or diversions that I found along the way were, were like clues to what could be happening in my life, which was so interesting because John denotes similarities to myself. Like people in your dream kind of represent how you might be feeling in real life. He had his YouTube career. I don't know what he's doing. His success is gone. He does, he's not very successful anymore, this person. I guess that's that's like saying, that's kind of how I'm feeling, but not exactly, like I, I still feel like I have potential. But that was the significance of John being in the dream and being lost. Also kind of could suggest that I don't feel like I fit in, which is a little similar to how I feel because I know that I wanna try these new things these new avenues and I don't really feel comfortable diving into it because I've never done it before and I'm like afraid to do it. I know I'm gonna try, but I'm like scared to get my feet wet. It was so crazy how true this all is. So animals in your dream represents a part of yourself. So because the animal was a stray cat, it was in poor condition. It was an indication that I need to take care of my health more. That's so true because I know that I kind of stopped eating healthy and I stopped working out as much as I want to. The thing with celebrities in your dream, specifically the significant of JLo was with her personality and her behavior. Even though I feel like we have many similarities in our characteristics, she has some characteristics that I don't have that I would aspire to have. Like I want to be as hardworking and be able to accomplish tons, tons of different things because I have a lot of things on my list that I'm like, I want to do this, 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 and that. That's That could be the significance of why she was in a dream. So if you have someone famous in your dreams, just think about how they are as a person, how it could relate to you or what you see in them that you would like to take after if that makes sense. Right I after I had the dream, I'm currently really battling in my mind how to manage it, different things. I know it's like a stress that I currently have a lot. As far as what we see on the outside, we see J-Lo is able to remain positive and she pushes through any of her struggles. And it was interesting because I know she had struggles before I actually read her book. She had struggles, but she was able to overcome them and still remain like a successful, happy, positive, confident individual. So me being in that unfamiliar room was an indication that I'm going through a transformation that is not yet being expressed in real life. I am not seeing my full potential. I really feel like that right now. It's like, I feel deep down that I have this potential, but I don't know how to get there to just like start. It's hard to express this. Like I can't explain it, but I feel it so deeply. So they tell you to pay attention to things that you see in a room. If you're in a room, the key significance was that Jayla brought out her vision board and I currently am making a vision board. I've actually been working on it for like a little over a week and I'm doing it a little differently than I think the traditional way of making a vision board is like I'm not only cutting out things out of the magazine and putting it on I'm, I'm spending a lot more time and creating like a plan of how I can actually make my dreams and goals come to life the significance of this is that my vision board is kind of like my map of how I'm going to get where I need to go it's gonna help guide me 
to achieve the things that I want to do. Also, this is another important thing I want you to know. I'm not super spiritual. I'm not really into like the vision board thing, but it's not that I don't care about it. I do believe in it. I think it's something that can be very effective if you try and put efforts into it, but I've never done it before. This year was the first year that I'm starting to create a vision board. I think it's going to be very helpful to me and positive. I've always heard great things about it. The last thing that I learned about the dream was that depending on what level you're on in a building can represent where you are in life. So because I was on the upper floor, it's kind of representing my higher self and my future. But overall, this was a really interesting dream for me to analyze, especially because I don't usually remember my dreams. I forget them quite often. And since I had this all this stuff in my house still, I was like, let me just read it. I'm curious what this is all about. So I read like all these cards and I was like, I'm gonna try and focus a little bit more on my dreams and see if I can remember them if I try to. Since I've done that, being able to analyze it was really cool because I know that everything that I saw along the way in that dream is real life for me. So anyway, wanted to share that with you because I thought maybe it could help you in some way. The messages are, if you feel lost in life or you feel like you're on a direction that you don't know exactly where to go, and I know with the pandemic, things are like really different right now. It's not as easy to attain things that you may have wanted to do for a long time, but don't give up, keep going, you can do this. If you have any dreams you wanna share, please write them in the comment. Don't write too, too long, because I do try and respond to all of you. And yeah, your comments help me a lot. Thumbs ups always help me. It helps me feel better. It helps the algorithm and the videos show up more for more of you guys if you can continue doing that i would appreciate it if this video helped you share it with somebody wait i just remembered i forgot to tell you one thing that i felt of significance when jayla had her vision board pieces and she said it didn't matter if they were all together to me in real life, I am always trying so hard to do everything perfect. I'm a big perfectionist and I know that that can end up being a downfall for me. Just hearing that, she said like it didn't matter. That wasn't important for me. I have to realize it's not that important to focus on like everything coming together at once. And I've been realizing this a lot lately through talking to so many different people. You don't have to have all of the pieces for you to start. You just have to start. And I know that's what I have to do. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peeps, this is the last run of the merch, so once it's sold out, it will be gone forever. Be sure to check out the new merch bundle deals by clicking the link in the bio or going to jensmithofficial.com.